Section 6.5 deals with and gets into the whole heart of this unit and solving polynomial equations. And in order to solve polynomial equations in, in section 6.5 as well as in section 6.6, you're going to have to use all the skills that you have learned previously both in unit 5 on quadratics and what we've studied in sections 6.1 to 6.3 uh, on polynomials, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. But before we can actually do this, we need to have a very solid understanding of what the graphs tell us about the roots or the solutions. And we're going to talk about the word multiplicity, meaning how many times a certain solution shows up. Now, in order to talk about multiplicity, here's the first information you need to write down. What is multiplicity? Multiplicity basically is the number of times a certain root r, whatever number it is, 3 or 5 or whatever, it's the number of times that that root shows up, which also means how many times x minus r is a factor of our given polynomial. The multiplicity of each root determines whether the graph of the equation crosses the x-axis or just touches it. Very important to write down and to understand what the graph is telling you about your problem because you're going to be using your graphing calculator to help you solve these problems and you need to understand what it's telling you. Now, as far as multiplicity is concerned, if a, f a number has even multiplicity, that means it touches the x-axis but does not cross it. And I'm going to illustrate that with a couple of examples. If it has odd multiplicity greater than 1, if it's greater than 1, for instance, multiplicity 3, multiplicity 5, that means it's going to bend on the x-axis and then crosses it. Now, if you need to pause the video, go ahead to finish copying those notes. And then the rest of this video, I'm just going to do some examples for you to help you understand what I just wrote. All right, let's look at two problems. Example number one, x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Let's say what we were going to solve and graph this. Well, the first thing that we would do is factor it, just like you learned a long time ago in uh, unit 5. If I was to factor this, you'd see that the two factors are x minus 1 and x minus 1. Well, what are the solutions? Well, this factor gives you a solution x equals 1. This factor will also give you a solution x equals 1. This is called multiplicity 2 because the factor or the solution x minus 1 has multiplicity of 2. And that's what you would write on your test or on your homework. Because that certain solution shows up twice, which means it's got the same factor twice. So it's got multiplicity 2. Now, if I was to graph this, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this because you would have a, you'd have a dot right there at 1, and what's going to happen is your graph is going to be a parabola that opens upward. Now, if you notice, as I said on the earlier slide, I have a solution right there of even multiplicity, and the graph bends but does not cross the x-axis. Therefore, if your graph looks like a parabola and just barely touches the x-axis, that would indicate a solution of multiplicity 2. Let's look at example 2. Example 2 says x to the third equals 0. Well, if I would factor this out, what you're going to get is x times x times x equals 0. There are three factors to this problem. Since it's a third-degree polynomial, there are three solutions. Well, that factor, x, is going to give you a solution, x equals 0. That one's going to give you a solution, x equals 0. And that factor will give you a solution, x equals 0. Therefore, there are three 
zeros as a solution. So therefore, you would write x equals 0 has multiplicity of 3. Now, you learned earlier this unit how to graph this. It crosses the x-axis at 0, and it's going to be kind of a curvy graph that looks like this. Well, our key point, x equals 0, where it touches the x-axis, if you notice the graph bends, but then crosses the x-axis. That indicates an odd multiplicity, usually of 3. But when it bends and crosses the x-axis like that, that's an odd multiplicity. And now I'm going to go back one slide. That is what this information right here is telling you. If it's an even multiplicity, it will bend but does not cross the x-axis. If it's an odd multiplicity, it will cross the x-axis. I hope those examples illustrate what that means. Now, I'm going to go to two final examples. Here I actually gave you the graphs, and I want to know what the solutions are to these problems. Well, the first thing I'm going to notice right here, the graph bends but does not cross the x-axis at x equals negative 2. That indicates to me that x equals negative 2 has a multiplicity, oops, not writing very well, has a multiplicity of 2 because it does not cross the x-axis, so it's got to be even multiplicity. So that means x equals negative 2 is going to be a solution twice. Now, I'm also going to look over here at x equals 3, and I'm going to notice the graph bends but does cross the x-axis. So that means x equals 3 would have multiplicity of, oops, of 3 because it bends and then does cross the x-axis. So this particular graph will have a fifth degree polynomial for its uh, problem because there are actually five solutions to it. So therefore, our power has to be 5. Now, I'm going to list the solutions again here in red. I'm going to list the solutions right here. Negative 2, negative 2, 3, 3, and 3. Now, I'm asking you for the factors. Well, if you know the solution is x minus 2, it has to have a factor of x plus 2. You also have another solution of negative 2. So this would also be a factor again. So you got multiplicity 2, which means its factors show up twice. Now the solutions of 3 would give you x minus 3, x minus 3, and x minus 3. And these five factors are the five factors of whatever polynomial produces this particular graph. And that is how you come up with and what the connection is between solutions, multiplicity, and what the factors are. Now, I want you to try example four on your own. See if you can come up with this one. Pause the video, and then I'll go over it. All right, well, first of all, I notice that the graph crosses the x-axis at negative 3, but it's a straight line. Therefore, that means x equals negative 3 is only a solution once. The other point it crosses the x-axis is at 0. And I notice the graph bends and then crosses it. That means it has multiplicity of 3. So the, this is a fourth degree polynomial. Your polynomial will be x to the fourth in some case because there are four solutions. x equals 3 shows up once. x equals 0 shows up three times. Now, what are its factors? Well, I'm going to list the numbers. Negative 3, 
0, 0, 0. Those are the solutions. Well, x minus 3 is the factor x plus 3. 0 is just the factor x. This 0 is another x, and this 0 comes from a third x. And these in the black box would be your factors for this particular problem. If you would times all that stuff together, it would give you the polynomial that would produce this particular graph. If you have questions about multiplicity, please ask, but that wraps up 